uh, Dick Grasso, the former CEO of the New York Stock Exchange. So, Dick, let me just ask you outright, is this another Lehman in the making? Well, I think Beijing, and particularly President Xi, wants to avoid creating another Lehman Brothers default. You have to remember, Neil, the interest payment due yesterday and the one that's due next week both carry 30-day grace periods. So I think Beijing is now trying to figure out what to do about those payments, recognizing that they had a domestic payment that was due this week that they met. So I'm troubled, and I think investors outside of China have got to be troubled by the fact that they appear to be taking care of domestic investors and turning a cold shoulder to those outside of China. That's a major problem, both with respect to Evergrande and in terms of public confidence going forward, making investments in China. You also have the the great difficulty that Beijing's leadership is facing as to what to do with these uncompleted projects within China. So I think the president, uh, President Xi, has a lot on the plate now, and the credibility of Beijing is on the line with investors, both domestic Chinese investors and global investors. I don't think he wants to see a Lehman-type collapse. I think he's taking a hard line right now with Evergrande, but I think it's much easier to back down than it would be to back up. You know, it's interesting when you talk about um, maybe his concern for Chinese investors or, you know, keep it within the country than outside players, but there are a lot of outside players who directly or indirectly uh, have interest in, in how this all sorts out, including BlackRock, J.P. Morgan, Vanguard, Fidelity, UBS, uh, Goldman Sachs. This is not a large part of their overall portfolios, uh, but for some of their Asian funds and the rest, uh, it, it's a significant weight. And I, 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 I'm just wondering, if the whole thing goes belly up, what would be the impact on them? Well, and I think that's exactly why Beijing is trying to figure out right now how to avoid the whole thing going belly up and and how to avoid, most importantly, the global perception that uh, domestic Chinese investors would be treated differently than global investors. Remember, Neil, you know, this company has $300 billion worth of debt. And that's a very, very significant number. However, there is perhaps as much at stake in terms of global investors looking at equity participations within the People's Republic. So Mm. I don't think it's in uh, President Xi's interest to see this thing go toes up. I do think they're trying to work out how the workout will occur. And, you know, he thinks in cycles beyond the next year or two, he thinks in cycles of 5, 10, 25, and 50 years, investors, global investors, will not forget if they're treated differently than those within China. So I think, you know, whether it's BlackRock or any of the other major players who have the debt but also have large equity stakes through their sector funds, they're right now sending an important message to Beijing's leadership. Do not treat us differently and do not create a Lehman-like catastrophe. To that point, um, Jim Chanos, the, you know, the hedge, hedge fund giant, um, no fan of China, has been warning about China and the games they played for many years, as you know. Mm-hmm. He said that there are many more Evergrands out there, that that's the biggest, but they're all similarly, um, you know, looking at, you know, debts that can't be serviced. Uh, He's saying the whole Chinese property market is on stilts. Now, if he is right, um, this could go way beyond just one company, right? Well, there's there's no question, Neil, but again— If you're the leadership in Beijing, and if you're President Xi, 
All right. Recognize that you've got both a domestic problem on your hands and you've got a global problem on your hands. And of course, the, the long term focus of the leadership in Beijing is when do we become the world's global economic leader. That will never happen if they allow this thing to go toes up. I think they're right now trying to figure out a proper balance and a proper, if you will, due diligence and making certain they don't interrupt their 50-year plan to be the world's largest economy. You treat investors outside of China differently than you treat those domestically, it will never they will never achieve their goal. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Dick Grasso, very good catching up with you. Uh, my friend, the former uh, Big Cheese at the big board, Dick Grasso. Uh, 